and pleaded, oh please, dear princess, only a kiss from you can break this terrible spell that was inflicted on me by a wicked witch. Here comes to my baby boy. <coughs> and the beautiful princess was so moved by his desperate plea that she stooped down, picked up the slippery creature, leaned forward, raised him to her lips, and kiss that little frog. Aww. Then the frog was transformed into a handsome prince. They were married and lived happily ever after. The end. Yay! <laughs> raise it again, raise it again! Sorry, Charlotte. It's time for us to be heading home. Say goodnight, Tiana. There is no way in this whole wide world I would ever, 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 I mean never, kiss a frog. Yuck! Is that so? Well, here's your big charming to you. Come on! No! Kissing! Stop it! Get your phone! I won't! I won't! I would do it! I would kiss a frog! I would kiss a hundred frogs if I could marry a prince and be a princess. <laughs> you girls, stop tormenting that poor little kitty. Poor little thing. Evening, Eudora. Daddy, Daddy, look at my new dress. Isn't it pretty? Oh, <laughs> look at you. Why, I'd expect nothing less from the finest seamstress in New Orleans. Ooh, I want that dress. Ah, right, now, sugar I plum. I want that one. Please, please, please. Eudora, <clears throat> you suppose you could whip something up like that? Anything for my best customer. Yeah! Come along, Tiana. <laughs> Your daddy should be home from work by now. All right, now, Princess, you're getting that dress, but that's it. No more, Mr. Pushover. Now, who wrote the puppy? I do, oh, I do. He's so cute. This is me. I think it's apparent I need to rethink my life a little bit. What's my problem? 